Mommy, they you recording, right? I hear you say hi to the people. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my garden. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up my final fountain of the season. So this makes fountain three of three. I am also going to go in and I am going to shape my topiary. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can get done in this area and then move on to the next task at hand. And so it's a beautiful spring day. I'm outside in my garden just pittering around trying to change out these containers. So in early March, I came out and I planted up these beautiful containers after I came from a recent trip to Sherwood's Forest. We have been getting warmer days in the 70s and in the 80s. So what I need to do is I need to come in and I need to pull out these containers. First, I'm going to start off with putting a little bit of bleach in this fountain. Let me show you what the water is looking like. All right, so as you guys can see, I have quite a bit of debris here. I'm not really worried about that. But before I dig into this water, what I'm going to do is this, because I don't have to scrub this fountain down. I'm going to go in, I'm going to add quite a bit of bleach. So the reason why I went in and I poured the bleach in my fountain is because that water has been sitting there and so basically you add the bleach in to clean the water. Now I still have to go in and I'm going to fish out everything in there that's large. I'm going to fill up the rest of my fountain. I'm going to turn the pump on. But first I'm going to let the bleach sit there and do its work for a little while so it can continue to kill any type of pathogens that are there because we don't want to run this water through the fountain and it's been sitting there is dirty and aspirate any of those pathogens up into the air so we let the bleach sit there we let the bleach do its thing for a while and that is the last thing that i'm going to do in this area and it's actually not a bad idea when you go ahead and you're using the water that's been sitting there you put the bleach water in there and if you don't have time to wait so it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put on a respirator that way it can uh, the filter in the respirator can remove some of those particles because we want to make sure we're maintaining our lung health even though we have fountains out. And that's why a lot of times when you guys see me outside in my fountain area, even though I use water clarifiers and algae preventatives, I will also use bleach before I start to mess with the water to make sure I maintain my respiratory health. So while that's sitting there we're going to go in and we are going to trim up the alberta spruce in this area
this is from this angle right here this is how we're looking right now and we're up at the top right and i was getting ready to cut in another spiral here but let me show you guys what's going on in this tree can you guys see that there's uh some babies in there so <laughs> you guys I got my fountain open up she's beautiful just as I remember her last season she may be even more beautiful once the eggs in that uh, Alberta spruce hatch we'll go ahead and finish trimming up that topiary thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging out with me and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye